Looking to upskill your team with hands-on industrial automation training? Visit www.realpars.com business and fill out the form to get started. The link is also in the video description. Teamwork can be defined as the combined action of a group, especially when effective and efficient. Collaboration and teamwork are important aspects of achieving operational excellence in modern industries. It has been said that in today's competitive landscape, collaboration between teams is no longer a luxury. Teamwork is necessary for sustained success. Automation engineers provide systems that promote teamwork through the tools and systems they design. For example, modern DCS and PLC systems provide tools for operators, engineers, maintenance personnel, and managers. Centralized systems help streamline communication and coordination. Team collaboration is defined as the process of individuals working together to achieve a common goal or complete a shared task. When individuals work together, there is more opportunity to share knowledge and ideas. Members of the team will feel a part of something greater, which can lead to enhanced problem solving and innovation. As team members work together and actively participate, they typically learn much from one another. For the manufacturing team, effective collaboration can lead to improved productivity. Team members can feel a greater sense of ownership of results. These results often lead to reduced downtime and improved operations. Teamwork is a wonderful thing, but it isn't always possible to get a team all working in the same direction and with the same goals. Sometimes communication is lacking or incomplete, especially between departments. In very large organizations, silos of information can be created making coordination among all team members difficult. If the teams are large, there can be those who are not aware of or who may not have bought into the shared goals and tasks. Organizations can be resistant to new technologies, and there are those in the team who may put up roadblocks to adopting these technologies. Diverse teams are desirable, but the team leader must be sure that members at different skill levels can contribute to the design and development of complex automation systems. Automation engineers have a unique opportunity to bring all groups in a manufacturing plant together by developing and designing centralized systems that allow real-time data to be shared among operators, engineers, maintenance personnel, and management. When I refer to centralized systems, I am specifically talking about DCS systems, PLC and SCADA systems, Centralized Maintenance Management Systems, or CMMS, and Factory Floor to Cloud IIoT systems, to name a few. If you want to get an understanding of DCS and SCADA systems, check out our courses SCADA Basics and DCS Fundamentals. You can find the links in the description below this video. With these systems, data can be shared in real time with all groups, allowing for effective data analysis and informed decision-making. So what features can automation engineers design into centralized systems that will yield these benefits? First, task and workflow management tools allow planning resources to accurately plan a production schedule, taking into account resource availability and raw material availability. Well-planned workflows can be subjected to what-if analysis with a goal of anticipating and mitigating issues that may arise. Predictive maintenance and automated alert systems can be designed to keep all informed of pending equipment failures. Downtime can be minimized when preventive and predictive maintenance programs involve operations and engineering, allowing those groups to input to maintenance planning. Finally, dashboards for tracking KPIs can be displayed throughout the plant, to provide transparency into performance and efficiency. Let me give you a couple of examples of teams I've been a part of that successfully used centralized systems to improve collaboration. I work for a large engineering and design firm that designs and builds complex pharmaceutical plants. Our success with on-time performance and client satisfaction can be traced directly to our commitment to cross-discipline design, even across office locations. In automation, my teams work closely with electrical, 
mechanical, process, and architectural engineers every day to ensure that our designs are coordinated. Before designs are issued to the client, all disciplines come together in a meeting room to do a peer review of each team's work. We find the peer review process to be a very useful and beneficial task to ensure quality. Every month, we have collaborative communities of practice training over the lunch hour. These sessions provide an opportunity for all to learn more about specific aspects of our work and to bring all team members up to date on the technologies we are using and the processes we are helping our clients to automate. My organization understands the importance of training, and our communities of practice sessions are one way we strive to keep alignment in our project work. Just as we use training to bring our various engineering disciplines together, our clients also understand the importance of training in bringing maintenance and operations teams together. Using technical training geared toward each team helps break down barriers to the adoption of new automation systems. Training is essential to ensure that automation assets, such as centralized systems, are used to their full potential. I have found that there are three types of training programs that enhance collaboration and teamwork. Technical training is a must to prepare operations and maintenance groups to use automation and the tools provided by automation systems. Soft skills training, such as proper communication, teamwork, and conflict resolution training, helps build the team's confidence and camaraderie. Third, cross-functional training is key to giving all an understanding of other teams' roles and challenges. As important as the content of training is, the way that training is delivered is also important. There are many strategies that I have found beneficial for delivering effective training. Hands-on workshops and simulations are the most effective methods. Having participants use the automation tools and systems to be used in the plant gives them valuable practice in a safe environment and helps to build confidence. Not all training is able to be delivered in this manner, so other methods, such as continuous learning through e-learning platforms and collaborative training sessions, can be used to foster team development and bonding. Just like in-person workshops and simulations, online learning can be powerful when it's designed well. Our skill paths in PLC programming, HMI design, SCADA, and industrial IoT offer hands-on practice, real-world simulations, and continuous development, helping you build confidence and apply what you learn directly on the job. Check the links in the video description to learn more. With teams engaged with one another, with common training opportunities, continuous communication will naturally result. Shared access to data minimizes miscommunication. The use of automated workflows can help keep tasks on schedule, even with complex task dependencies. This is particularly helpful for batch systems and for processes that utilize a kit of parts or are part of an assembly process. I have found that integrating automation systems and training also assists in problem identification and resolution. Well-trained personnel using automated tools lead to increased productivity, better use of resources, and better process reliability. As new technologies are employed and as company-sponsored continuous training becomes the norm, the company will find that a sustainable culture of collaboration will naturally develop. It will also allow future technological advancements to be understood and successfully applied. Implementing advanced automation systems and introducing new technologies to support operations does come with a few challenges. Obviously, training costs money and time, but the rewards should be evident almost immediately. Sometimes there is resistance to learning new technologies especially among older workers. I have found that other employees who latch onto new technology can be a positive influence on those who are more hesitant. These challenges can be overcome through investment in employee development. Gradually or incrementally introducing technologies with pilot programs or phased implementations can help increase confidence and acceptance. Also, 
employing a collaborative approach to decision-making and implementation can help break down barriers to acceptance of new technology. In this video, I have discussed the critical role that automation plays in fostering collaboration and in bridging gaps between teams. Along with effective training programs, companies can drive collaboration and positive team dynamics, leading to organizational excellence. Want to dive deeper into technical topics and automation? Check out our growing catalog of courses at www.realpars.com. Invest in your future and commit to a training course today.